Hi, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Ivana Brooke, and I'm back, and I'm better. Kind of like the sunscreen. Let's talk about it. So this is the Kinship Self Reflect Rose Edition. And okay, they say all they changed was the flavor, but I don't think that's it. I, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There's more sauce to it than just a little bit of rose. I, I know it. I know it. There's something else in here. So let's talk texture real quick. So this texture is always something that's been kind of interesting. It hasn't changed from the original self reflect. It has a, and do not, do not take offense to this. Do not scrunch your nose up, but it has a slight cottage cheese. Like it just, it just, I, I don't want to say cottage cheese. It, it's dimpled. You can't see from there, but it, there's a dimple to it. Baby got cellulite. Like she's cute though. She's cute because cellulite's cute. So I don't mind it. And that has nothing to do with how it spreads out. It's just one of those things I always notice. Like I'm like, this sunscreen just looks, it just comes out in the most funny like texture compared to everyone else. But I like it better than a runny texture. I think the texture is one of the best things about it um, because it smooths down into the most insanely lightweight cream. I really love that. So as far as the application, once again, so smooth. The smoothest application. When I say that, I mean like, um, for example, the, my last SPF review, Cetaphil, oh my God. It just like, it almost feels like it's like, a, like skipping, like it's skipping tracks. Like it just ain't, it's hard to put on. You know those um, sunscreens that just have too much like tack to them. They don't, glide over your skin and over your pores it's like they get into your pores and they don't want to move across your face which can make application number one frustrating and number two almost like it's drying a little bit not a fan of that don't love that so no pulling or tugging which is like oh my god i'm sorry but that's the most annoying thing about a, a sunscreen that doesn't apply well is like i'm putting on sunscreen so that the sun doesn't deteriorate my face i'm not trying to pull and tug and literally like there's sunscreens where i'm like well now like my jaw skin is touching my eyelid because I've had to my whole face just to get it to move. Like I don't like pulling or tugging, especially with anti-aging pro um, products. Even though it's sunscreen, I consider it anti-aging. You just, it's counterproductive. It's counterproductive. So I really, really appreciate that this application is like every other moisturizer ever, just smooth. You can use your fingertips. You don't have to put elbow grease into it. There's no need. The application is in my opinion, a lot better than the original Self Reflect. The Self Reflect definitely leaves um, more of a whitish blue cast. This definitely still leaves a bit of a cast, but it's not a white cast. It's just that, it's just that slight purple cast. I don't hate it. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't actually bother me. I notice it sometimes. Like it'll just be like when the light catches it kind of thing. It's not perfect. It's not castless. I'm not saying that at all. You probably will see a cast unless you're just like, like you know, if you've like lighter skin than me, you know, but if you're like my skin tone or darker, you're gonna see a little bit of that, that purple sheen to it, which is expected because they didn't change that about this. They just added the flavor, but I do think this blends in way better than the last one. Let's talk about the claims. So I think they're for the most part pretty spot on. There's just a couple things that I'm like, eh, eh. we'll see. So first lightweight non-greasy formula. For the most part, I agree. I definitely think it's lightweight. No problems there. Non-greasy, I agree personally, but I do think I could totally see somebody who's just used to different things or has a just I could see how someone could say that this is greasy I can see that I don't like even on my hand like it doesn't feel greasy but I can see how while you're applying this because it applies so smooth and like has that slickness to it that you might not be used to from your usual SPF you might consider it greasy like I could I could totally see that and also the glow baby I'm sorry the glow is insane if you don't like glow I'm so sorry. This video ain't for you. This video ain't for you. This sunscreen ain't for you. This one ain't for you. Next. <laughs> but I definitely find it easy to rub in. This is definitely the, that is a, that is the perfect claim for the sunscreen. If that is your number one complaint with sunscreen is that it's hard to rub in, go get you this. Cause this is just, it's bing, bam, bang. Like you just, 
it's 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 really fantastic so i totally believe in that claim amazing moisturizing absolutely it 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 leaves nothing to be desired in the moisture area it just locks everything in i love that um totally agree with the claim that it feels like you're not wearing anything my face never feels tight or uncomfortable or like you, you, your forehead you know like the perimeter of your face is like like it feels like it's like coming off no none of that and then the last claim which i kind of was like what 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 y'all they said this is a matte with blurring finish y'all know good and well that they ain't got not one bit of matte in it i'm so sorry it is this is the glowiest sunscreen ever like y'all when i tell you i'm wearing a i'm wearing it underneath my makeup today which i totally recommend if you're a makeup lover especially if you love glow this is a it's a fantastic primer i really love it but i also put on my um what's that one the elf matte priming putty over it i have on ysl foundation like this is a very fresh application guys and i am fully glowing like y'all see that that's my skincare that's the skin prep mm-hmm. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. baby you're glowy you're just not mad and that's okay that's really like it's okay so i just i just don't agree with that last claim about matte I don't know where we got that. I'm gonna be real. I, I it almost, I saw it and I was like, this must be a mistake. Next, let's talk about the notable ingredients. They did add rose and they're very real about what it does, hydrates and improves your mood. And for some people they're probably like, that's so like gimmicky. And usually I would agree with you. Usually I'd be like, eh. yeah. Like you're just like mood booster. Like, I, yeah, I'm a mood booster kind of like, Mm -hmm, kind of girl but no 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 no. when it comes to rose that's where everything is turned around because i've said it once i'll say it again rose is so important when it comes to raising your frequency and i don't i don't want to get too woo woo on you but like here we go and this isn't even woo woo this is science because if there's one thing i learned in physics frequencies are freaking real and rose vibrates at the same frequency as love i know that sounds crazy it's like what do you mean something vibrates as the same frequency as love look it up it comes up on google i'll show you so you don't have to rose vibrates at the same level as love and if you're kind of like okay how can that boost your mood if you've never had rose water or tried it in your water if you've never ingested rose i totally recommend you trying it and see how you feel like really be intentional with it i know no one asked for that in the middle of a review but i'm i'm sorry i really do believe in rose as far as the mood booster and keeping you um in good spirits. The next notable ingredient would be the Ken Biome, which is a probiotic that supports your skin barrier. I'm super into protecting my skin barrier because I've messed it up one too many times. So I totally appreciate this um, in their products. It's also in their Super Mellow, which is one of my favorite moisturizers as well. So I'm a big fan of the Ken Biome. I feel like that's one of the reasons why this has never broken me out or caused any problems because if one thing's gonna break me out, it's gonna be a SPF. And last, let's talk about, is it worth it? So this is $25 and I'm gonna just say, it's it's really, this is one of those products that it's worth it if it's up your alley. You know what I mean? Like if you're into Rose, like, yeah, you're gonna like it. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, you're gonna like it. If you don't like Rose, yeah, this is gonna be the worst product for you. Don't get it. But if you like Rose, if you love Glow, this is the SPF for you. It does have a little bit of that, like a little bit of that cast on it, um, as you can see in the application. But if you can live with that, then I think at this price point for what you get, it's a really nice sunscreen. I'm excited to use it every day. I really am. It's a pleasure. It's honestly a pleasure. If we could just knock that little purple cast off, then we'd really be in business. It'd be my absolute favorite. Um, even though I do have oily skin, I don't think it makes my skin like greasy or oily. It's just, are you comfortable with glow? Or are you not? It's kind of just up to you. I hope this review was helpful for you. If you liked it, don't forget to leave it a like. If you like me, don't forget to subscribe. If you want to see more of me, you can always check me out on my Instagram, Yvonne Brooke, so I can give you more woo-woo tips about what you should be ingesting to raise your frequency and your vibrations. Sorry, I'm...
I've had so much coffee today, it's insane. But I hope you guys enjoyed. See you in the next video, and I hope this video found you in the best place possible. Bye.